But to get back on the uh, gun issue, while many people are blaming Trump, they're blaming the gun, they're blaming the AR-15 or what resembles AR-15, I'll talk about that in just one second, Howard Stern, the king of the liberals, actually has enough sense to say it's not the fault of the gun, it's the fault of the person. And this is what he had to say. I'm so upset about Orlando and what went down, Stern said. But I can't believe these people will come out afterward and their answer to Orlando is to take away guns from the public. It is effing mind-blowing to me. And he went on to make the assembly talking about sheeps and wolves. And he says, if you're a sheep, you expect, it, you expect to be targeted by predators. You expect the wolves to come after you. That's why you have the shepherd there. But if you don't have the shepherd there, what if somebody just came up to you and gave you a pistol or some type of firearm and you were able to uh, combat against the faster, stronger, sharper teeth wolves? Or the wolves may get to a point where they start to leave you alone. And that's the same reason why you have the Second Amendment in the United States Constitution. While, uh, while people will tell you it's about duck hunting and shooting targets and you know keeping a shotgun in your closet in case somebody breaks into your house at three in the morning, Yes, it is all those things, but it's also for your personal protection when you're out in the street, regardless of what the Ninth Circuit of California <laughs> may think about it. No, it, it, says, it says, shall not be infringed. You have the right to bear arms legally, as long as you're not carrying in a manner calculated to ca cause alarm, I meaning you're not waving your gun all around and shooting up in the air like some drunken Yosemite <laughs> Sam character. You have the right to defend yourself. And when many people come after these, uh, these shootings and they say, Americans want to ban guns. I'm like, oh, really? Go look. Every time there's a shooting, a massive g gun sales. You know, you can't go buy an AR-15 after an AR-15 attack or AK-47 after an AK-47 attack. And it's not because these people are being morbid or they're trying to, you know, dance in the graves of the people who passed away. They realize that it was an individual, not a tool, that committed these crimes. You know, I have a shotgun in my closet. It's never killed anybody. I hope it never will kill anybody. It's there in case I need it for personal protection. It's the same thing if you have an AR-15 or any number of other firearms.